Hi, Aquarius. It's Elle here to do um, your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we're going to start with love, Aquarius. Let's see what the cards... Ooh, I have to offer Aquarius for love. All right, put it back. Got a lot of cards that fell onto the floor. You put them back in the deck. Let's see what the deck, what the Tarot has to offer Aquarius for love. These are really big cards, so shuffling is kind of hard, but we're going to press on through. All right, let's see. The Four of Pentacles. So, some of you could have been in some domineering situation. Like somebody was trying to, you know, exert their will over you. What they wanted for the relationship. They wanted you to just accept it. But they were, like, forcefully trying to get you to accept, you know, be my side person be my person that I run back to be there for me do this you know is kind of possessive domineering um for some of you this person was even a little clingy um the, the relationship altogether turned out to be toxic st uh stuck stagnant because this was a person that either liked you or loved you out of fear fear of losing you this is a fear, scarcity mindset. You know, this is also somebody that didn't open up to you emotionally. They didn't open up their heart. Once again, out of fear, loving out of fear or doing something out of fear. Fear of being vulnerable because they have some deep seated emo emotions that they haven't dealt with. This could be you, Aquarius. It could be another person, you know, cross watchers get in where you fit in. Um, yeah, so it's just like this relationship had like a cap on it. Like it, they, somebody wouldn't let it go or grow as much as it could. It was like, this is where we are. We're keeping it here. This car can even talk about like layered connections. So somebody have, you know, a relationship here and then they've got a relationship here. And, then, and they put them in tears almost like, you know, um, I guess one relationship means more than the, than the next. Um, this is also like somebody keeping somebody on the outside of their heart space, like definitely not letting you into their heart. This can even indicate that somebody was keeping you on the outskirts of their real life. Like they weren't introducing you to their real life, their real friends, their real family. Um, could even indicate like somebody having a family, and they're keeping you on the outskirts, hiding this or hiding you. This is something you could have been doing or someone you were dealing with. Let's see what else is going on here for the Aquarius. But well, we do have, you know, toxic toxicity. So it's just unhealthy. That's, you know, another word for toxic and unhealthy relationship with no growth. Because of somebody, you know, wanting to control, wanting to create some dynamic out of fear so let's see what else do we have for the aquarius what do we have for the aquarius what do you want to tell aquarius spirit okay that card two of pentacles so we we have manifestation here because the pentacles is about it being real you know the end result of a thing so this was what somebody or this is where someone was going to keep you the four of pentacles you know that was the end result for them maybe you wanted something different the two of pentacles um so they kept decisions up in the air they didn't really decide on you they didn't decide on their relationship um they kept a lot going on or they would tell you there's a lot going on or there's so much in my life and 
you know, wrong, you know, right person, wrong timing, uh, type of situation. Um, they definitely could have been trying to grow two different things, maybe two different relationships at the same time. Okay. Uh, this person, they were juggling a lot too. They were okay with juggling this. This wasn't stressful for them. And it wasn't like, oh my God, I'm, you know, doing the wrong thing or I'm, you know, not choosing Aquarius or it, it just was something that they were doing and they found ease in doing it. Hang on, I'm trying to fix this camera. Um, yeah, they found ease in doing this, ease in uh, having two parties. Yeah, definitely. Um, what else with the two of pentacles? There's a lot going on here. They were trying to weigh up the pros and the cons of actually making a, you know, deciding on you. But they never did it. They never pulled the trigger. Um, they they kept you thinking that as long as, if you just kept giving to this situation, if you kept showing up good, if you kept showing up right, they would change. I don't know, kept you hanging on or holding on to hope. The Two of Pentacles also. Um They put on some type of show also, you know, for you, like, you know, they, there was going to be change. Yep. Um, like they would change. They knew you were watching or they knew you were analyzing or trying to put it together to see if there would be significant change with them. Therefore, you know, the two of pentacles talks about, you know, the juggler being on stage knowing that you know people are watching so just keeping up airs keeping it out keeping it all up in the air so it's like this person put on a show for you like oh yeah i'm gonna change i'm gonna do this we're gonna do this and do that and um i don't think much got done in this relationship what else is going on here it's like the cards just want to re reiterate to you that this was the manifestation you know um four to the six of pentacles so this person was going to just give enough to keep you stuck for pentacles to keep you giving to this connection to the pentacles um yeah you know that that was the manifestation of this what else do we want to tell the aquarius the empress this person saw your words how abundant creative dynamic beautiful um spiritual giving loving open you know um you are how you can create they saw how they could create with you also i don't think they were on your level or they they didn't want to rise to your level or they weren't ready for you some of what they say to you could have been true in terms of if, if your person said you know right person wrong timing that definitely could have rang true for them they just weren't ready for the connection they weren't ready for you um they could have kept you as a third party or there was a third party uh the empress is an archetype so it's, it isn't like the court card so the embodiment or the person that would be the empress is the queen of pentacles so it was like they kept you, they knew your worth. They knew how much you could bring to the table. They knew they could grow with you, have a family, blah, blah, blah. You know, all the great things, right? They didn't really do it. They didn't really offer anything. They just knew that they had something special. They knew that they had something great. You know, whether you're a, a masculine energy or a feminine energy, they knew that you were great. Um... They knew they had something great and they didn't want to uh, let it go with the four of pentacles. They wanted to hold you up, keep you stuck, stagnant. This is also somebody, uh, if you were married to this person, they had someone on the outside of your marriage. We talked about that, the four of pentacles, you know, like layered connections, somebody being on the outskirts. So, and then the two of pentacles. So, um, let's see what else. What do we have to tell Aquarius? The magician. So the counterpart to the empress is the emperor. 
And the counterpart to the magician is the high priestess. So that will be like in the 5D. So this person, um, they sold you a dream. The magician is the salesman, you know, of the deck. This is a person who's good with, you know, speaking, speech. They can give a very eloquent speech. It's a very powerful man. That's what the card talks about, masculine energy. Um, this is a person who talked a good game, who would say things that kept you engaged, kept you wanting to be engaged with them by way of what, you know, they were saying to you. Um, they, it says, uh, play your cards, right? Um, and also with the magician, it says, um, choose your words wisely. This person definitely did that. They had bright flashes of inspiration of, of, of indication that you are, you were the one. But it was like failure to move, failure to actually act, to do the right thing. I don't think they had, or they didn't think they had all they needed to manifest a real relationship with you. Some of you, you were dealing with someone who just didn't have everything that they, they thought they needed to be in a committed relationship with you. This is Virgo. This is Gemini. Sometimes people look at it as Aquarius. This is somebody who just kept you engaged with wordplay. You know, let me put it together or put my words together very well so that the Aquarius stays engaged. Nine of Cups coming out. Um, so this was a relationship where um, there's a lot of good vibrations, good feelings. Um, the release of um, endorphins of uh, just good feeling all together. This is an uh, exertion. This could even been that, that the sex was good between the two of you. Someone could have been trying to manipulate you with sex. They knew that, um, you know, having sex with you would keep you uh, or this is what you were doing. Somebody loves the feeling that they get when they're with you, you know, with you sexually or with you just in your company. I'm hearing like that Marky Mark song, good vibration. Like it's a really old song, guys. Um, This person just really just love that energy. There, there might have been a lot of fun times, laughter, drinking, eating. You know, just all of those good things, you know. Um, so the nine of cups is about a wish, right? Make a wish. It could very well come true. You can't wish for something that you already have. So clearly there is separation between the two of you. So they're wishing for you to come back or wishing for the opportunity to come back to you. Maybe even trying to manifest you. In the past, they were trying to manifest keeping you by way of this good vibration, you know, maybe even sex, uh, or giving you things or whatever. And now that you guys are separated, they're trying to manifest you back, maybe even by way of sex or, um, just really being very hopeful and wishful, maybe even prayerful. They're trying to like, we got the feather coming up there. It's just like, maybe they're like really wishing, hoping and praying that, the star here, right here, that you come back, okay? Um, what else do we have for Aquarius? I heard walk it down slow, walk it down. So this might be a reading that is lengthy because we're going to walk it down slow. Maybe th this is what somebody needs to hear. I know some of you are so far removed from situations like this, but some of us aren't. So just respect where every Aquarius is in their walk. Maybe you, you know, this isn't, it is what it is for you, you know, at this point, um, you've moved on, but, um, and then for some of us, it's like, we need to hear, you know, so let's see, uh, what else do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius. Okay. That card wants to show its face. Knight of Pentacles. I heard dedicated and devoted could could have been dealing with like a Virgo energy, 
Gemini, Taurus. This person was dedicated and devoted to you, whether you believed it or not. But in their own way, dedicated and devoted to you in terms of. I'm going to always come back to you or I'm always going to resurface or I'm always going to, you know, I always want you here. I see your value, but it may take some time for me to actually pull the trigger and give you what you want. Uh, they may also have wanted you to be dedicated and devoted to them. You know, um, I don't think it was like a traditional dedicated and devoted, like I'm dedicated and devoted you know, I'm always here for you. Anything you need. No, it's more so like I'm dedicated and devoted to always being in your life because you provide good vibrations. Nine of cups. You know, um, I don't want to change this. For some of you, the relationship kind of got it got really slow. You know, really without fun. It was like lackluster. You know, this person wasn't doing much to keep the connection together. Let's see what else is going on here. What else is going on here for the Aquarius? Some of you decided to. I'm now I'm here. Mar Mariah Carey spread your wings like a butterfly. The butterfly showing up. You just decided to leave. It took you a while to leave. None of the cards should be reversed. Two of swords in reverse. Okay. Yeah. It, you were undecided in the upright. And in the reverse, you came to a decision, like a firm one, that you just need you needed to let this go, or you need to let this go, or you were no longer burying your head in the sand about this person, listening to their words. You you no longer could just live off the good vibrations. You needed something concrete, something real, something stable. So you walked away. You know. Uh, this could have been a, like immediate or immediately you cut off or you, yeah, you, you. for some of you, there is no reconciliation because the two of swords upright would say we can reconcile if there's compromise, if there's a plan of action. And it says, because if we do it like that, then it will be great reward, a great success. But in the reverse, it's like, I don't see great reward. I don't see great success. I don't see anything great happening here. Okay. Um, that is what the two of swords in the reverse says. Nothing great happening here. And there is no room for reconciliation. Um, I'm over the power struggle. Because there's a power struggle in the two of swords. I'm over, you know, the push and the pull. I'm over having to always concede, give in to. I'm over doing all of the work, being dedicated, committed, and loyal to something that is not, you know, dedicated and committed and loyal to me. So, what, what else do we want to tell the Aquarius here? What else do we have for Aquarius? Some of you came into realizing there is no partnership here. It was just you. You giving to like an endless black hole. And this person didn't even value what you were giving. That You know, they saw your value, but they didn't value it. Um, two cards came out. The eight of pentacles, the four of cups. So... You may have stopped giving time, energy, effort to this, started to work on yourself, put work into yourself. You were tired of some cycle. You know, this could have been a relationship where you both cycled in and out, off and on, hot and cold, 
we're on for two months we're off for five we're on for a month we're off for three it, it was just like back and forth tit and tat a power struggle you, you know um you aren't on the same page you're tight this is giving a situation chance after chance after chance over and over again says the eight of pentacles over and over again that might have been rejection disappointment dissatisfaction you gave somebody a chance over and over again to see your worth to see what you are offering your cup and they continuously denied it they may have continuously wanted to keep you as a third party or they kept the third party around um They just were so self-centered. They 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 put everything. They put themselves before everything. Somebody didn't see the blessing, the gift that was this person. You know, you Aquarius, or you didn't see it. You know, get in where you fit in. I don't know. Um, you didn't see the blessing. The other person didn't see the blessing that was you. Cancer energy Virgo coming up again. Um, somebody felt like the relationship would mutate. The energy would mutate. It would eventually turn into or mutate into a relationship. If I just keep giving, but somebody took their giving and their work and their all of that back. Someone just started to understand that if I keep giving to this connection, I'm going to become powerless. It's like continuously pushing up against a brick wall. You know, eventually, if you keep pushing that brick wall, you're just going to run out of power. So you become powerless. And that was, you know, this relationship, this the brick wall, just giving, 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 pushing up against this brick wall. And it's like, you know, I just don't have any more power, any more time for this. And somebody was over being rejected. Um, what else do we have for Aquarius? The five of wands. This relationship made you question what you were fighting for. Okay. With the five of wands. It talks, it talks about fighting for what you want. So it was like, what am I really going to get? What do I want? It just had you all over the place. Competing goals too. You and your person didn't want the same thing. You know, you and your person didn't see eye to eye. Again, they kept a lot of energy surrounding themselves. Um, they kept you fighting for their affection, their attention, because sometimes the five of wands talks about romantic rivalry. So there was other people fighting for this person's affection. They just kept a lot of energy up surrounding them because it fed their ego. Um, they love to have love affairs where people just kind of like, you know, just, you know, vying for a little bit of affection from them, a little bit of time. Give me some, give me some love. Um, they like to get people riled up also because the five of wands talks about like ignoring your your love interest and then the love interest gets you know a little bit testy with you a little bit you know out of pocket talking crazy and that person liked it likes to get or this could be you Aquarius you like to get people kind of like a little um concerned if you will about why you're ignoring them or this is what this person used to do to you ignore you kind of push your buttons and then you have to inquire as to why they're ignoring you is there someone else and you know jealousy in the five of wands so it's like this person likes to make you jealous this is just is a very the five talks about love affair childish behavior you know playful that's what this person was trying to it, it just reads as just not serious at all um wanting to keep you guessing what else can we tell aquarius 
in regards to maybe moving forward. Okay, so the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So this might have been a karmic situation, a karmic relationship. But it, for some of you, it helped propel you, push you towards your life purpose. Maybe push you towards learning about yourself, presenting something or yourself to the world, understanding your gift, perfecting your craft, putting yourself out. It, it changed your whole trajectory. If you are inquiring about is, is this a soulmate? Yes, this person was a soulmate. Soulmates can be good or bad. You know, you have to, or, you know, or karmic, um, which you have to determine what kind of karma because karma is good, karma is bad. So again, soulmates can be good or bad. So yes, this person was a soulmate, but did they add value? Did they add anything to you? Was there a complete taking, you know, situation or so, you know, only you know that. Um, yeah, this person may have pushed you into putting more energy, effort, time into you, building yourself up. Um, taking time for yourself, looking good, maybe even entrepreneurship, like just really um under a very lucky time to understanding that you know this is my purpose this person may have pushed you into spirituality divination um magic if you will um they unlock something for you so they turn something in you with the will of destiny so it was destined with them being a soulmate for you to meet them because if you didn't then of course you wouldn't be here For some of you, this third party, if you were married to somebody like this, they kept the third party. This third party was doing anything to keep this person, to change their trajectory. So this woman was doing anything to keep this man, to change his mind, his destiny in terms of... Um, Maybe getting him to leave his wife, okay? Getting him to forsake his vows, his duties. This woman was doing anything, you know, to stand in the way. She is doing anything. What else do we have? Okay. The tower and the three. Yeah, all of a sudden there, there could be a breakup. A divorce. Um, something was built on faulty ground. Okay. And it's coming back around. This is a situation that has historical value. So you've been here before. It has history. Within your relationship. Within the dynamic. Right. In the past, maybe you guys didn't deal with it correctly. You swept it under the rug. You said, I'd do better. And you, it was a pat on the back and we moved on. But it resurfaced because you didn't deal with it. So this is about tearing down old structure, regimen, uh, mindset, really dealing with issues. The universe brings it back up so you can deal with it. And then the midst of the chaos, the rubble of everything falling apart, Maybe you can find some type of solace. You can t find some type of um, resolve. You can um, come to a place of understanding and then move forward. If you want to rebuild, you can rebuild. If if you don't, then you don't. But um, it's like we got to tear it down to either rebuild it or just leave it where it is. This is Scorpio energy. It's Scorpionic energy. This is maybe finding out some truth that... There is um another woman or another man here. And then somebody is saying divorce, separate. Somebody uh, kind of alienates themselves, isolates themselves here. What's the advice moving forward for the Aquarius? Advice moving forward for Aquarius. 
Yeah, Eight of Wands movement. So it's just like the the tower comes down, and then it says in the Eight of Wands, uh, obstacles being removed, and life moves at a fast pace. So life is going to go really quick for you. Some of you going to actually physically move, make a physical move here. Um, some of you are going to conclude. This is the conclusion of. You're going to declare your intentions. Maybe even allow the other person to declare what they intend to do or whatever. But it's going to be movement forward. Maybe after a conversation. Um, you've isolated, alienated, alienated yourself, not talking, miscommunication, misinterpretation of what people said and done. Um, there could have been that third party that we saw stirring up that trouble. And you got confirmation of the information okay um and now you're moving forward or you're having communication about what you know or what you know to be true the moon card i know it's like somebody wants to feed you more fallacy more falsehood more they want to cloud your judgment be careful of that more lies and deception maybe from cancer pisces scorpio cancer and pisces coming up scorpio um someone may even want to reconcile with you by having some passionate makeup session again clouding your judgment don't lie to yourself don't lie don't allow yourself to be lied to you be having some very vivid dreams right now it's like maybe the universe is trying to talk to you speak to you especially if you're a feminine energy um this card comes out when you have a meddling third party who's actually doing magic and we talked about that to be doing anything to keep your person to make your person change their mind and choose them this is karma this is a karmic soulmate that could be manipulating your person you could be the one doing the manipulation i don't know but there is somebody who's doing some energy work to get what they want. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Especially if somebody's married or in some long-term relationship. Someone's doing some energy work to have the transference of wealth. So somebody wants all that you have, Aquarius. They want it on their side. Again, the Wheel of Fortune, which is a 10 card, the 10 of Pentacles goes under the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's trying to change your, for they're trying to usurp your life. They're really trying to take it by force by doing anything that they can do. Now, magic and manipulation can be by way of sex, words. It can actually be by way of, you know, doing some hocus pocus energy. Um, yeah. So someone could be doing that type of work. Somebody's stringing someone along to come their way. You got nine of pentacles. Come out of being married, be single, but be ready for an opportunity with me. Yeah, queen of cups. Somebody's really trying to take. There could be a queen of cups really trying to. Maybe take somebody's fortune also here. There could be a queen of wands. There could be someone working in cahoots. There could be a magician here stringing two people along. A masculine energy stringing two people along. Um, this is these are polar energies so nine of pentacles and the queen of cups so she's open and this is a feminine card so she's closed closed open so somebody's wanting somebody to close out maybe this committed relationship and be open to them somebody is definitely doing energy work and divination and creating all kind of narratives and falsehood 
someone is really trying hard to get this masculine energy all right so i keep hearing like are you gonna fight are you gonna fight for it or fight for your person are you gonna give up you know i don't know you know that's a question only you can answer are you gonna fight or are you gonna give up um let's see we're gonna pull a new deck from a different deck yeah the fifth house passion so this person could be using performance entertainment and you know costume love affair again some passionate love affair um playfulness pleasure um to maybe lure your person or this is the type of energy they met this third party in where there's costume and play performance this could even be like performer entertainer exotic dancer jupiter expansion it's like somebody's really trying to take someone's fortune take someone's chance yeah they see potential if there's a third party if there's another woman in your dynamic they're like they're not giving up this person without a fight now it could be a physical fight of course but this is like I'm I'm fighting my position. I'm doing all that I can do. What what else is going on here? Virgo could be dealing with a Virgo. Um This person could be doing some ritual cuz we do have the alchemist the Virgo. So they could be doing something to kind of take uh or make the energy move in their direction. This could be something that you're doing. Libra, the idealist. Could be Taurus. Yeah, a lot of energy coming up. And then Mars, action. Yeah, a lot of Earth energy. So somebody is, is really trying to... So behind the scenes, they're trying to do some energy work, okay, to get someone to choose them, make the choice of me. Someone's using their sex appeal, sexiness, their fertility. Someone sees someone as the full package, right? Um, and maybe the other woman or other person was threatened by that and they took action. It took some concerted action some well thought out action to maybe make this this man choose them or is trying to get this man to choose them because they were showing up as a lover leo okay and um maybe they weren't high on the the totem pole we talked about a layered connection so it's like somebody was trying to move up take something or take somebody by force here um take somebody's position by force too if you're a, a um a wife this other woman was trying to take something from you take your husband take your life take everything from you forcefully doing energy work doing spells doing all kinds of stuff um to come in between you know your relationship and if you were just dealing with someone and they kept you as a third party that other woman is doing whatever she can to keep her man because it, it feels as if he was leaning towards maybe moving with or choosing the third party Aquarius the innovator coming out um and then the seventh house so there was some relationship here marriage um that Aquarius is in was in see Aquarius was thinking one way um happy utopian um being a humanitarian group oriented uh maybe even detached but i think you've got to be like the seventh house and be um you know kind of drill down on your relationship your companionship your marriage um 
justice, get your justice, social awareness. Yeah. It was like, now you have to be aware, you know, you got to look at something different. Everything isn't all roses. Friendship. I don't know if you had like friends sleeping with your person or friends coming in between the relationship with the 11th house coming up and then Aquarius rules the 11th house. Or you had friends coming in between, you know, some you're discovering something here. Yeah. Maybe you're discovering that, um, Friends or people you were looking at as friends, they were uh, maybe coming in between. I don't know, something like friends sleeping with your person or friends causing interjection, running interference. If they didn't sleep with your person or tried to, and they were running interference. You thought that you had a trusted friend and you can kind of um, talk to your friend. Um, about your life, your love life and what's going on with you. Um, they may have been happy that things were falling down. Yeah. Um, they may have been happy that things were kind of falling down for you and not going well. A year from now, things could look different. Your life can be completely changed because there's some grand opportunity. There's gold bullion that's what i heard or whatever that word is gold coins ra raining down on her okay but it's about forgiveness and forgiving yourself forgiveness i heard debt forgiveness also something like so making some type of compromise yeah compromise something pay something off or, or someone coming back and paying something forward to you or someone feels like they are karmically indebted to you the payoff will be great a year from now. It's not the right time uh, for reconciliation and coming back together. It's just not the right time. Let's see where else we can take this reading. It's not the right time because I don't feel like your person is ready. Okay. They want your forgiveness, but uh, they're not ready to make the commitment for some of you. Uh, they're still kind of torn. Yeah. I would say I love you, but I don't know what love is. So you're dealing with somebody who's just all over the place. Yeah, someone was tired of being a husband or a wife and maybe they, they stepped out on you or this is what you've, you've done, Aquarius. Manipulative behavior and that is what maybe a third party is doing. Somebody really wants, I'm like getting like this like strong feeling, strong vibration that this person really wants your person to choose them. They will take this by any means necessary. Um, they will do magic manipulation on this person for a lifetime, you know, cause it doesn't stop. You don't get, you don't get your person. Okay. So you don't just do all this magic and this stuff, whatever to get your person. And then you get them and they're just with you forever. No, you have to continue to do all of this stuff. You, your life will be a constant circus or circle. So you'll have to continuously Always be, you know, going, going in around and around for this person. So keep that in mind. If there's anybody out there who's trying to manipulate people by way of love spells and, you know, all so many different things you can do. I'm not going to name them all because I don't really condone a lot of that. But um, yeah, this isn't a one one and done. This is a lifetime of manipulation. Um, you're so immature is coming up. Let me see if we can kind of, yeah, you're so immature. So you could be saying that to someone or someone saying that to you. Let's see what else we have going on here. Somebody is immature. Someone wants to know that you are, they want you to know you are beautiful. Okay. Someone's saying, I give you money. That should be enough. So somebody is 
you know saying that should suffice yeah i'm not there yeah i'm not here emotionally i'm I just i'm checked out but i i pay the bills or i take care of my family or something of that nature and someone wants you to wait for them wait for me this could be what you're saying to someone aquarius or the other person is saying that to you wait for me so somebody is trying to get something together get out of something um see past the cloud you know the smoke yeah someone's saying i'm happiest when i'm with you so there is somebody else you know but they're happiest when they're with you and there's someone having financial issues and they just can't focus on love right now. That could be you, could be someone else. I want to marry you. So want is a beautiful thing, but I want to have some ice cream right now. But I know that I'm not because it's it's not good for me right now. Um so want is an interesting thing to want something is great. It's desire. But will you go after your desire, Sam? Wow. And I am dating other people. So, yeah. So, somebody is dating other people. And somebody is dealing with a material girl or a material guy. Or maybe this is that other energy that is, um, you know. But somebody sees you. Wow. So, we got material coming up twice. Someone's dating a material girl or a material guy. Somebody's very materialistic. And they're all about buy me this give me that take me here you know looking good but then someone is seeing someone as marriage material so somebody is materialistic they're all for show but somebody is long-term material and then we did have i want to marry you but i'm dating other people so you got somebody here who's coming up you know um of two minds they have two minds about everything and it could be that this other energy is pulling them in the direction of you know, by way of manipulation. The art of manipulation is what I heard. Um, is that a book or something? Mm -hmm. Let's leave you with some shells here. What is to come for the Aquarius? What is to come? Very nice. So you got three shells that came out. Financial abundance. I know you can't read that, but you got financial abundance. Beauty is coming to you. Shoot. Aquarius, don't worry about people not choosing you. Look what you got coming to you. For some of you, it is divorce. We get divorce. So some of you are going to be in like a, a literal divorce. Or you're just divorcing the idea of having this person, this relationship. But you've got so much coming to you. Some financial abundance, beauty. Okay, so um, some of you may change your mind about a person here. Um, it's just a year from now, your life can look completely different. If you just compromise and let go of something. Just let go. Um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can always um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.